Hello guys, welcome to Linux Joy channel. Today we are going to learn managing and mon monitoring the process with using top command. For that, I have to open my virtual machine here. So I'm using vm run command to start the virtual machine, which I already configured in my VMware workstation 15 pro. So from my host terminal, I'm going to run the command to start the virtual machine oh, so let's get started sudo vm run stat start vmware folder vmx file without graphical interface so no gui enter password for my host machine to check whether the virtual machine started or not sudo vm run list so you can observe here vm is started and the virtual machine vm name is sent to a 64 bit version so clear the screen i am going to use two terminals here first terminal I will log in as a root user with using ssh command to log into that particular virtual machine ssh so user is root shift at the rate of and the ip address of that particular virtual machine is 192.168.186.1 so this is your virtual machine's password controller to clear the screen go to the second terminal here login as a normal user so i already configured one normal user that is karunakar k r n a k a r shift at the rate of same virtual machine and same ip address 186.129 press enter this is your virtual machine's password press enter controller clear the screen first how can we manage and monitoring with the process information with using top command first of all execute that command top press enter if you clearly observe First, we have six rows here. First row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, and sixth row. I'm going to explain all these six rows contained information. The first row shows the executor command is top. It is showing here. And this is the current system time. At present, it's showing 1929 that is 7 29 pm indian stand indian standard time and up is two minutes so the virtual machine just started and the uptime is two minutes only and here you will see the users two users total current logged users you can observe here so number of users here two because i log in as root user as well as corona care user so that's the reason it's showing two users here next he will find the load average load average is nothing but cpu load average and these three columns are for first column is for first one minute and the second column is for five minutes and the last column is for 15 minutes last one minute last five minutes last 15 minutes of cpu load average here so next is tasks so 190 total that means total processor which are in active mode are 190 and the running processor are 1 and 189 are sleeping total sleeping processes are 189 and 1 is running and 0 stopped process and 0 those processes in zombie state and next 
row is contains percentage of CPU information. Here 0.1 US means the percentage of CPU used by user processor. And the second one is 0.2 SY. This means percentage of CPU used by system processes. Next one is 0.0 NI that means nice value here percentage of CPU processes that used by setting the nice value. So and the next one is 99.7 ID that means percentage of CPU in ideal state. Here 0.1 WA is nothing but percentage of CPU waiting for IO. Next one is 0.0 HI that means percentage of CPU for hardware interrupts percentage of CPU used by hardware interrupts here and here 0.0 SI means percentage of CPU used by software interrupts and the last one is 0.0 ST means percentage of steal time next column is for memory that means you are physical memory that is your RAM so here is the total memory it showing is in bytes so 18, 18652.76 bytes and how much free 1070424 is free it's continuously changing because the processor is running in the background that's the reason showing and next one is used Memory is 402.6 and buffer total memory used in buffers that is 392520. And next column is first for your swap memory. So total swap memory you can find here 2097148 in bytes and this is free and this is used swap memory and the last one is available memory. And the last row is for your total processes information. Here you can see the PID that means process ID and the next one is user. Uh, the user which who owns the process here you can see the root user. And here you can find PR is 20 that means CPU priority value this is PR and nice value. So nice value for this process particular process and this is virtual means virtual memory for that process res means physical memory for that process physical memory used by the process virtual memory used by the process and shr means means here shared memory used by the process and here s means the process status codes process state codes you can observe here capital s capital r these are we already discussed it. capital S means interruptible sleep mode and capital R means running or runnable and percentage of CPU that means used by the process and percentage of memory that it means you are RAM used by the process and time for the length of the time running the process and the last one is command that command which initiated the process these are the information you will get when you execute the type command so there are six rows six rows have detailed information i will explain you and next i am going to show you some commands if after executing this command press z to change the color of the total processes information here so when you press again z it will remove the color when you click the z it will show the processes information in color i can re Reinice a particular process. How to do that? I want to reinice value for I want to set a reinice value for top command. So the nice value here you can observe for top command is 0. So I want to set I minus 20. So how to set that? You can simply type R and it will ask you to the process ID you which process you want to change the nice value so I am going to choose top command and the process ID is 2133 you have to mention here 2133 press enter and it will ask you the re-nice for PID I am going to give minus 20 here 
press enter so we will find here just press Z to remove the color okay no problem here here you can find top nice value is changed I minus 20 you can find here the default value for top command is uh, 0 that means nice value is 0 once and I am going to change the nice value for this particular top command how to do that same simply type R and it will ask you the process ID that means 2133 2133 here you can assign any process you can take any process PID and you can change the nice value here for example I am taking the top command PID to change the nice value of top command press enter and uh, the default value is 0 so I am assigning the 0 value for the top command press enter so again you can observe here the nice value of top command changed here as 0 next you can change the delay in seconds the refresh rate is 0 0.3 seconds for every 0 0.3 second the top command that means process information here will refresh here if I press D it will ask you to change the delay time so I can simply give 5.0 seconds press enter so now the refresh rate is changed 3.0 seconds to 5.0 seconds again press D change the 3.0 delays delay seconds that is the default value press enter now the delay value is changed that means the refresh rate of changed here that means 3.0 seconds every 3.0 seconds the process information will be refreshed here next I can kill a process how to do that I am going to kill the top command here how to do that press K it will ask you the uh, process ID here simply I am giving the process ID is 2133 press enter and it will ask for your signal that means 9 or 15 here I am giving the 15 so it will terminate the top command press enter so we will come out the if I give the 15 signal here that means the process is terminated here so that's the reason I came out from that command and once again execute the same command top next and I can hide the tasks here so I have tasks information here you can clearly observe total running and sleeping stopped and zombie so I can hide these tasks if I want to hide the tasks I can simply type T we have to type three times one two three so if I type three times T it will hide the tasks information so task information is disappear here so once again if I press type press T it will show the task information once again here I can change the number of tasks also so this is here you can find uh, processes there is no limit for the process information here so I can limit the process information here for that I have to use n so it will ask you to maximum tasks is 0 change to 0 to unlimited so I want to see only 5 tasks information so 5 processes information here if I press 5 here press enter and it will show only running five processes information and once again press n zero for unlimited press zero here and press enter and it will show unlimited processes here next i can check the particular user process information so here first i log in as a root user and as well as i log in uh, the same system and with karunakar user so I, if i want to see only karunakar users karunakar user process information i have to type here u 
and uh, mention the username karunakar press enter so it will show only karunakar process information so karunakar using only two processes those are commands sshd and bash and process id you can find 20942097 if i press i can you just press enter you will show it will show all the users process information so in this way you can manage the process information with using top command so today session is for i planned to explain the top command only so that's it for today if you like the video please click on the like button and the last one just press q to quit the task command and next once again press top command if you press shift plus f at a time it will show this uh, you can sort the process information with using these columns pid user pr ni virtual res shrs and process status cpu usage you can find the abbreviations also here what is pid user you can find all those things here if i want to sort by percent percentage of cpu i can sort everything here i can sort the process information with pid i can sort the process information with user like that but actually the default is percentile of cpu i am just leave the leave as it is press q for come out the sort sorted process information so here what is sorting here it will show you which uh, command is taking the maximum percentage of cpu that means which process is taking maximum cpu so it will show you the first here so top is taking 0.7 so now it's taking k worker 0 is to 0 something like that so defaultly the top uh, command is sorted by percentage of cpu which is used by the process so with using shift plus i shift plus f command you can sort by anything like with pid with user and with pr with nice values etc so that's it today i hope you understand this video if you like this video please click on that like button if you have any doubts please do mention in the comments below and share this video as many people as you can and don't forget to subscribe my channel q for quit the terminal quit the command also thank you for watching my video this is Linux Joy signing off.